Alright! First game we are playing is Rental. It kind of looks like a cutesy game from the download screen, but I have a feeling it's not going to be a super cutesy game. Oh, I'm playing already. <laughs> Our good old Suzuki. Gary? I wanted to say Gary. I was very confused. Wait, there was a question mark. Where'd it go? Did you wanna play with me? <laughs> no! <laughs> right to the point. Screw you changed your mind? Oh, oh no. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to this person. A mom. Doors open. Could the rental man already be here? I don't know. What do you think, Yumi? It's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. My cursor's here. That's already annoying me. I'm just gonna drag it off the screen and hope I don't need it. So far it's just wazzed and spacebar. So. Uh oh! Who closed the door? Hey! Open up! But I'm inside it won't open. It's like a haunted house. I should find that dental rental? Rental man? What? Yo, oh, what was that? Find that dental, oh, okay. Yeah, so everything's just gonna say that. Got it. Camera? Okay. Ah! Camera? What's happening? Bad. I am willing to say. Who are you? Oh, the rental man. <laughs> uh, you. Did you come from the outside? Been trapped here for weeks, months. I don't even know anymore. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I just need to get the keys, man. Worry about parents. You'll never see them again anyway. Unless? Unless what? You'll have to perform a ritual to exercise this cursed place? That said, I can't do it myself, of course. I'm just some helpless rental man. <laughs> but you, you're a little girl. Who else could do it better? You just need to find the artifacts. It's, uh, let me see. Six crosses, a woman behind bars, some angry man. Three candles. Ah! Uh, but what's the last one? Wait, I think you should know. There appears to be a secret room somewhere in here. I don't know how to summon it, but some of the stuff is probably there. Good luck. Huh. Huh, indeed. Wait, a good place to hide? I mean, I have to hide from something? He looks kind of fuzzy. Oh, well, there's a cross. So... Okay, got a wooden stool. Might have scared me a little bit. Okay, so let's just go to the front of the house, work our way back again. Oh, two candles. Okay. Oh, so it was nine crosses. Uh, problem here. What, what, what does that mean? I wanted to check the cupboards with the stool. 
Hey, there's some cross object. Awesome. Huh. What was that noise? What is that door that keeps opening? Wait, did I check in here? No. Oh, it looks so meaty. Yeah, yeah, it does. What? What TV was it just... Oh, the table. I thought it said the TV is floating. Like, what TV? So yes, I was already in here. Okay, so nothing's under the bed. That's locked. Maybe need a key. And there's this weird thing like protruding. <laughs> There's some ugly kid, too. Oh, okay, right, right. This is the... other room. Uh... Found an angry man. <laughs> Jesus? <laughs> Was that Jesus? No time for a nap. All right, is this woman behind bars, perchance? Indeed, it is. All right. So this way. No. Okay. So there is supposedly. A secret room in this house. Oh, a key. Okay. And the locked drawer was in here? No. Uh, was not paying attention. Not over here. Am I really this bad? Yes, here. Ooh, across. Okay. Ah. Uh... Oh wait, can I just? Yo, can I just farm crosses here? I don't know how many crosses we need. I think it was a nine, but... I don't know if this is counting either, but we're going for it. Okay, and there is supposedly a secret room. Yeah, just close your dad would wear. The windows look low budget. Okay, there is there's just a dead end over here. Who makes me wanna say the secret door is over here? That's where I got the picture. Hey, okay, this is nothing but the hiding place. 
nothing in the drawer. Can't sleep. Nothing's on the TV. else in that cupboard, dirty dishes, nothing to eat. Okay, found a candle. I think that was the last thing I needed, right? No? Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Has this door always been here? I feel bamboozled. This is kind of trippy. I wish there was a faster way to move my character. Ooh, cross? Okay. Okay, there's no run button either. Dude, I'm just waiting to see in the reflection, like, someone chasing me. That's cross object. And then there was this turn here. Yeah, I do think this just goes back to the beginning. Yeah, yeah. So we're just gonna go back here, keep going this way. Yeah, the turning here is definitely kind of the worst. just not very helpful uh there's one cross left that's just dead end wait was that it no but i saw it on like uh there ah here it is easy Last one. Now, do we just leave? 
I'm assuming we can just leave them. I'll go to the uh, entrance. <coughs> ah. Choking on coffee. <coughs> ah, do not recommend. <sighs> oh, the long walk. Ooh. Thought? This was the way to the entrance? I guess not? No, this is definitely the entrance. I guess I just don't have to go there? Question mark? I'm just gonna time lapse through this and uh, you guys will see what happens at the very end. Get out of this maze, or if something interesting happens. Approximately 10 hours later. Oh, there it is! I'm out! It's been so long. Uh, I have no face. What's happening? Oh, I'm backwards. Got it. All right, the ritual. Okay, place all the stuff. supposed to look like this? I feel like there's a lot of broken looking textures. I finished placing the items. I thought I would have to go in like a big circle. Okay, we're getting there. Uh, a lot more broad. Really? That's not everything? Oh, I bet something goes here, right? Yeah, it does. Now that's everything. Okay, wish I'd even say the useless man just disappeared on me. Here goes nothing. Perica, Perilla, Paparina, Pepperuto. We. Oui. What a mouthful. No way, we got a first try. What a guess. Is Yumi a Super Saiyan? What's happening? Huh. It's just a drug trip. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Earth to Yumi. It seems like the rental man is not here yet. Might as well unpack what we can. Oh, never mind. The door's open. Could you go check? I don't think we should go inside the house. The end. That wasn't bad. Game by Smarto Club. Yeah, that was genuinely enjoyable. I liked the old style feel, gave me heavy Resident Evil vibes with uh, the camera angles and everything. Uh, I wouldn't say it's much of a horror game. There really wasn't any scares, there was that man in the beginning, but he kinda just disappeared instantly. Not the uh, rental man, there's like that guy standing in the hallway. 
But I think that was legitimately the only scare to it. Like, jump scare-wise, which is kind of what I expect from these games. But yeah, I like the atmosphere. I liked the, the cute little creatures in a horror area. That was kind of cool. And yeah, that's Rental. Next up, we have a missing salesman. Oh, volume slider. That is always a win in my book. All right, let's start. Uh, I do not seem to have tasks, but I see the words. Finally, I got home from work. It doesn't seem to be anything to eat at home. I should go to the store. Ooh, my task is to buy some pizza. Pizza does actually sound pretty damn good right now. I could definitely devour a pizza. so in the middle of nowhere. Wait a second. This is all too familiar. Yeah, this is the same assets from uh, inside the store in general. This is a bathroom, right? Ooh, it's not. But that was supposed to be a bathroom. This is like the same store from uh, one of the first random horror games I did. Uh, the Eki Eki, I think was the name. There was like a scary Asian lady stalking me through these. Uh, yeah, but get pizza from Blue Freezer. Go, sir. Hello, I'd like to buy a pizza. Evening, that'll be ten dollars for a frozen pizza. What? That is the real horror aspect of this game. Who spends ten dollars on a frozen pizza? That's like DiGiorno. But at that point, just spend like an extra four dollars and just get a new one. Like get, get a good one, non frozen. My new task is to go home, by the way, up in the left corner. So I think that's what this way was. I think in the beginning he's like, oh yeah, I'm home, but nothing to eat. I might be mistaken. It appears I have mistaken. Is it a jellyfish? That's cool. Yeah, walk past the store then, keep going that way. I'm assuming. This is a long walk. A really long walk. At least I could frisbee this pizza at someone's head if they try to attack me. Oh what? You have a knife and want my money? Pizza, go! Just chuck it at their head. It's my house. We had to open the door and it like threw me to the side. Eat a pizza? Yum. That was delicious. One bite of that. Why is it red in here? Oh! Okay. That's fine. It's definitely not fine. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a jump scare so soon. Hello! Player, who are you? I am you. You're me? What does that mean? How can you be me? Let's 
another existential dread horror games trying to convince me I'm in the game oh put the dirty laundry in the wash hey is that a ducky the magnificent top hat mr. duck wash there we go Uh, put toilet paper in the toilet. Uh, there is no toilet in my bathroom. Ah, there we go. Go back to the store. Wait, gotta close my doors. I'm not a monster. Can I turn off the light? Oh, yes, yes I can. Alright, back to the store we go. Another casual 10 minute walk over there. Wish there was a run key, please help me someone. Okay. What do I need from the store? I mean, he's probably gonna be dead, right? Oh no. Hello? Stores closed. Something happened? Salesman couldn't get to work. Something must have happened to him. Okay, I'll come back later. The store is open. He's saying, oh wait, no, yeah, that's the dude that was uh, in my bedroom, right? Well. Oh! I thought my game crashed for a second there, <laughs> but uh, no, did not. All right. Oh, I thought I was gonna talk to you and you were gonna explain the deep lore of this game. Get a dead body in my front yard. Yeah, that's the missing person, all right. What if my laundry's done? My laundry done? I really don't want to go into my bedroom. Oh, I'm dead. My name is Bob. I'm 27 years old and I'm schizophrenic. I'm tired of living like this. I think I killed the store clerk. I can't tell reality from illusion. And <laughs> tonight, I'm going to kill myself. Oh. So not the existential dread, uh, like the other one. Oh, yeah, that was short, very short. I don't know, very one-dimensional. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a game. It's a horror game. <laughs> yeah, definitely not one of my favorites, but it was still enjoyable, I suppose. There was a lot of walking. A lot of walking for not a lot of scares or anything like that. But it is what it is. Alright, and the last game for today is going to be Pet Cemetery. Oops. I just threw open a bunch of windows on my other monitor, thinking that was maybe a uh, settings. Yeah, Pet Cemetery. Press 1 to adjust the brightness to my liking. Oh. Oh! Okay, that's quite lovely, actually. We'll just have it on dark. Okay, so there is a run key and a dead body. Definitely looks like he's been dead for a while, though. Look at that face. Yeah, 
Hey, what did what did I just do? What? Interacted and did something with the bed. Oh, did I take the sheet? Yup. Okay. So I'm assuming I'm gonna go bury it. Yup. Shovel. Oh god, how many people have I killed? Oh, uh, can I throw him in? There we go. Now I can... Interact- Oh! Jesus! It is not very clear on what I'm supposed to do. Uh, so I clicked the body and it dug a hole, and I had to click the hole to dig a hole. Oh, this is a bad idea. I'm tired. I shall come back tomorrow and bury him. Not like he's gonna come out. Yeah, why would you, why would you half-ass the murder? You have to full-ass the murder. At least finish burying the guy. What's that? Like a watering can at first. All right, let's go to bed and make a bunch of mistakes. What's happening? I can't move. Yes, this is what happens. You should have buried him. Now I'm getting buried. That was it? <laughs> that was actually it? How long have I been recording? That was, that was three minutes and 30 seconds. Wow, okay, that was very, very, very short. Um, I mean, it was kind of cool. I wish it was a lot more than it was. I feel like you could have done a bunch of cool stuff with this concept and like, I don't know, the assets didn't look awful. Um, yeah, i kind of disappointed. Not because it was bad, but too short. Definitely wish that would have gone on longer. Yeah, I guess that is uh, today's Three Scary Games. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, please like and subscribe. Uh, we do really appreciate any feedback as well on maybe some different games you'd like to see or anything like that. And I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.